Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to build a research assistant AI agent, uh, you know, based on Crew AI. So Crew AI is a multi-agent framework that helps you build AI agents to solve complex tasks. Now, if you look at the Gen AI ecosystem, everybody is talking about AI agents. It's the most hyped word today in this AI world, uh, starting from investors, stakeholders, you know, in startups, enterprises, and developers and researchers. Everybody is talking about AI agents because they believe that uh, it has values, you know, that helps you solve complex problems. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So our focus is to build a research assistant that looks at what's happening on the internet in the healthcare industry. And in the healthcare industry, if you want to write out some article and some blogs kind of a thing, uh, basically an information discovery kind of a thing that if you want to do it, that's what we're going to do in this video. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I already have a Jupyter notebook. So I'm not going to write a lot of uh you know code here because i believe that it's very high level the uh, crew ai provides you all the high level abstract classes based on langchain by the way so it's really modular uh in a sense now you know it's basically it helps you creation and management of ai agents so you can just do that everything it's you know it has it has simplicity it has modularity it has everything that you need now I'm going to talk about a few things about Crew AI. If you look at the GitHub, you can just go and just write here Crew AI GitHub, and you can just go to the GitHub repository. And this is this is the GitHub repository of Crew AI, and you can already see it has around 16k star. Uh, and it says cutting edge framework for orchestrating role playing autonomous AI agent, so on and so forth. Now, uh, easy to install. Pip install crew AI and pip install crew AI tools because they already have created a lot of tools for you and you can also create your custom tools and I'm going to talk about tools because that's our backbone. Now you can see that they have shown how to set up a agent, they have the flow, high level architecture, some tutorials that they have given you know from uh, some from internet wherever you know on YouTube and you can just do that. Now let's come over here guys and let me show you the tools that they have. Now tools are important. Let me tell you about, about some huge cases. If you want to build a system that can give you summary and insights from YouTube videos, then you need a tool that can connect with YouTube, fetches all the relevant videos, and then give it, uh, get the transcription of it, then give it to a large language model like GPT-4, Omni, or Claude, or anything like that, and then you get the insights out of it now all of these can be orchestrated through multiple agents and that's that's where crew ai helps but it has created already a, a youtube video search tool that you can see it over here youtube channel search tool youtube video search tool they have website search tool for example if you want to build a rag you know on top of a website so for example if you have a website and you want to retrieve some information from those websites you can just use website search tool you have a scrap website tool if you want to scrap some data. You have PDF, you have Postgres, you have TXT, different types of loader. We have Serper Dev tool. We're going to talk about that in a bit. And then we have a lot of other tools as well. You can also develop your custom tools. You can see it over here creating your own tools. This is how you can create your own tools, guys. If you look at this here, you, know, you have Serper tool, create and assign the search tool to an agent. This is the Google, uh, Google Serper API, blah, blah, blah. And then you can go a rest of the tools as well. Now, this is how you can do, uh, you can find out these tutorials, Crew AI documentation. I'll give the link in description. Pretty easy, not rocket science, to be honest. Now, let's come back and see what are we doing here, guys. So, first thing that I'm doing is I'm installing Crew AI tools. So, you can see pip install Crew AI tools, Langchain and Langchain Open AI. This gets, this gets all installed. And then I'm importing from Crew AI import agent, task, Crew some other modules that I need, and then I'm using Serper Dev tool. Serper Dev is different than Serp API, which is by Google, by the way, guys. I'm gonna show you Serper API uh, in a bit, and then I'm using Chat Open AI. Open. We, we can also create a video with Llama 3. Uh, that's that's the coming video with open source thing. And if you look at here, I have my secrets in this secrets key uh, in the left hand side, and you can see uh, Open AI API, Serper API, blah blah blah, and then I'm initiating the search tool which is called serper dev tool now you need an api so you have to come to this website called serper.dev 
okay and then you just create an api it gives you 2500 uh calls that you can make it in free and that's what they provide so it's very good for building proof of concepts mbps guys if you are in some hobby projects if you can do that now what i'm doing i have two agents that you can see one is a researcher and the other is writer now in the researcher i have a role of senior healthcare research analyst that's the role i'm assigning okay so crew ai provides you role based agent design so you can specify role you know with a specific goals tasks given to that role so you can define role that's the one thing then we have the goal so what's the goal of this agent so the goal is to investigate and report on the latest advancement in ai applications for the healthcare industry in 2024 that's the goal of this particular researcher agent now there's a back story of it now in the back story it you can basically give you can basically give uh, this agent a bit of background you know of that agent so for example if you look at here i'm saying you work at a prominent healthcare research institute your expertise line so basically you are giving an instruction based role based uh, you know prompting in this agent this is how it works guys not rocket science bunch of functions that you are calling within this tool so keep this in mind now if you look at here we have verbose for this agent we have merit false now delegation means that you can delegate task to other agent if you want and we have that in the next agent which is the writer one now this basically to enhance the efficiency and problem solving capabilities so this feature is crucial for handling complex workflows you know where different tasks might require different you know expertise so that's where that's where delegation comes in now we have the tools now i am saying that this this agent is going to use this tool which is search tool super dev tool that's why i'm passing here you can see search tool which is tools and then i'm using llm chat open ai i'm i'm using the uh, gpt4 omni model and then i have a temperature of 0.7 that's what open ai say 0.7 is one of the best temperature to keep it value you know if you want to if you want your system to be a bit, bit more creative if you don't want uh, it to be a more creative then keep it 0.1 or, or one or something like that now this is my first agent the next agent is the writer agent because once you have all the context see when you bring information from internet it will be really raw you know it will have a web link it will have some paragraph some context then you have to basically synthesize so llm basically synthesizes the response that's what gpt4 omni is doing then you need some agent that can basically write that in a very structured format that's what this agent is doing which is the writer agent now i'm saying healthcare technology writer you can see goal is to craft concise and informative articles summarizing the latest advancement you know in ai applications within the healthcare sector blah 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 and i'm i'm telling this agent that you know creating is basically an article creator or content creator you know in a healthcare industry and here i am saying verbos equal to true i want to see all the verbos logs and then i'm also allow, allow delegation true because i want this delegation to be true so it can take the workload from the previous agent can also work and then you can see llm chat open ai the same llm and here are the task now once you once you define this uh, agents you have to define the tasks and assign which agent is going to which what task so you can look at here this is my task 1 this is my task 2 task 1 the same thing and then i'm assigning agent equal to researcher agent equal to writer this is basically your agent name so if you look at here this is your researcher agent this is your writer agent now so first you define the agents then you assign the task and then you execute here so if you look at here i'm saying agents which takes basically a list of agents so here i am passing my researcher and then i am passing my writer and then in the tasks i have task 1 i have task 2 and then verbos equal to 1 for the previous one uh uh instance now this is how you can do final crew kick, kick off that you can just start the agents to start working and and you can see so let me just run this all and show you here one by one so i'm going to first do this and this is how you bring up the in keys here when you're running it for the first time you basically it will ask you for the notebook uh, access and now i'm going to run this and now i'm going to run final which is crew dot kickoff 
Now, once you do this, you will see a bunch of things happening. You can see AI in 2024, welcome to new normal, blah, blah, blah. A lot of articles you can see eight things to watch in 2021 healthcare AI, a lot of things here over you can see AI to take center stage. So now if you look at what's happening here, when you do crew.kickoff, it goes to internet because you are using surper.dev to bring up all the relevant context for the agents, so the researcher agent, so the researcher agent can, you know, look at all this context and then give it to a large language model like GPT-4 Omni to synthesize the response. And then LLM will look at all these informations and context and then it will create a response for you. That's the task of the researcher agent. The next agent, which is the writer agent, it looks at all these uh, synthesized response from LLM if you scroll down a bit you know it's still happening and then the writer agent will write that in a very structured format you can see it over here the working agent which is expert healthcare technology writer so now this this agent has started its, its work here you can see it has a prompt that prompt has been seen here in the log because we have done verbose equal to true and it looks at everything and then writes up the content for you in a very structured format of, of course you can define the structure as well if you want you know, but I leave up to you, you know, so you have to wait for a few seconds because a lot of processing are happening. You know, the agents are doing their job and let's wait for it and see you know, what happens. You can see a bunch of titles here, guys, you know, from different Internet sources. We can see something from Medtronic. We can see something from you know, uh, MGMA. A lot of sites over here. And you can see there are some content you can see the most recent and significant innovations in ai within the health you can see now it has started writing it it has finished your writing and now let me just run this here if you just do print final it will just give you this the future of healthcare ai innovations in 2024 now the healthcare sector and such a beautiful response guys if you look at this response i i, I liked it you know it has given you different it's, it's in markdown format so you can just copy paste let me just show that here so I'll just copy this entire thing and you can use some library from Markdown to HTML or something to do that. I'm going to open Dlinger here, you know, just to uh, show you to and this is, this is how it looks like. So let me just remove this part. The future of healthcare AI innovations in 2024 and you can find out everything. You can also do a bit of better prompting if you want you know to return the sources as well it will return the source as well the source is there right in the context if you scroll a bit up you can find out all the sources if you want sources numbering stuff everything can be taken care by the agent itself now you can look at here automated diagnostic tools the first one uh predictive analytics ai in medical imaging specializing specialized machine learning generative ai in clinical documentation AI enhanced so on and so forth. So it has given you an article that you can probably use it to publish. You know, or if you're writing a blog, if you are, of course, you can bring up your own perspective into it, and then you can just do a paraphrase and do whatever you want to do in, with that. So this is this is how you can build uh, an agent, guys. A very simple agent just to fetch some information from internet. Now this is one thing. Now in the upcoming videos, we're gonna also look at automation part of it. How we're gonna do process automation if you have to write this back in an excel sheet or publish it on twitter or wherever because getting a response is one thing now how to take actions using those responses is something that you should focus on that's on the upcoming videos i already have created a video uh, on ai automation framework using gum loop where i have i have shown how you can build an ocr engine that basically takes up an uh, image a scanned image and you can it extracts all the information and it writes it back to a google sheet Please find those uh, link in the description. I'll share that uh, in the video description. I think this is how uh, you can create, guys. A very simple video. Uh, very the first video that I created for AI agent, you know, you, and you can expect a lot of videos using open source very soon on this. And uh, this code will be available on my GitHub repository. So if you have any question, thoughts, feedback, you can also ask me in the comment. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. We are also launching our Discord server, guys. Uh, we have already formed a team that is going to help you everything generative AI on that server. So we are also going to announce that in the next few days. Uh, if you like the content I'm creating, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. Thank you so much for watching.
see you in the next one